Welcome back to the last video of my Fire Emblem Three Houses walkthrough for the Cindered Shadows side story. That's always a mouthful to say. This is a beast. Is the a beast in the uh, the cathedral battle? It's still an awkward sentence. You've been thrust into this fight and haven't had the chance to visit Abyss. Now is the time to replenish everything. Also, there isn't a single fight after this anymore. Th and what I mean by that is, this is it. If you want to splurge, if you want to start buying things now, selling all of the bullions that you've got to give everyone stronger weapons, I highly suggest you start doing that now. Because there's nothing after this. And if you think, oh well, why don't I take everything to the next game, the next time I play this, there is, there is nothing. You don't take anything with you. As a result, now is the time to start equipping your units with the best items you can, you can find. If that means splurging on sil on silver s weapons, splurge on silver weapons. Again, there's nothing past this, so there's no point in saving anything. Bows. Silver bow. Inventory. It's just you really want to go all out in this battle. Holding back is just going to end painfully. Don't let this end painfully. Please don't. Well, now is the time to start forging up. Use up everything. Nothing comes with you. And every little piece counts. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's fight. Victory conditions, defeat the enemy commander. Defeat conditions, all your units fall in battle. This magnificent that above? <sighs> the good news is there's only one unit on this map. He's isolated. Don't be rash. He's right. Stay focused. I know they just said don't be rash, but now is the time to start moving everyone into its position. Now, as you might have guessed from this battle, yes, this is a monster fight. And the reason why I make that clear is if you want to take advantage of this, you have to surround the monster. But, as the characters have just said, don't get too stupid. I'll cut through. Your most mobile units should be making their way to the other ends sure of... Thing. Other ends is the wrong term. They should be making their way to the other end... To surround... There we go. Surround... Aelfrey. Everybody else should just be proceeding up as normally as possible. I'll give it my all. Remember, there's nothing after this, so there's no point saving anything. An illusion. 
explosion. I'm not sure I can find it. Don't worry. The beast can feed off these illusions? Its wounds are healed. He's gone now. Sometimes the world... As you might expect, you're gonna have to take care of those Aelfric illusions. And as you might notice, you don't really have a lot of time before this guy unleashes with a move that, and I kid you not, affects the entire cathedral. Fortunately, if you have gambits and have properly saved them up for a moment like this, now is the time to use them. And do not be shy. It doesn't really matter how much attention you attract, because, well, <laughs> you're, you're not going to make much progress. Edelgard will sadly never reach this guy in time. Wow. How is that? So I'll have her take down the illusion. Now it's time to use everybody else's gambits. I intended to take the pack. We'll lend you a hand. To break Unleash, pals. the barrier squares. It's gonna be a bit tr tricky, but you should be able to pull it off. Barry Square location. Time to shake things up. Just shatter them as much as you can. In some cases, you don't even need much more than this. Oh, no. Final blow. That'll break his armor.
And now it's just to repeat the process. Witness my power. He'll guard us in surprisingly good condition. Move carefully. Wind. Yep. Who me? And take him out with someone like Hilda. Are you lost to me? Sally Four. Just unle un just unleash all of my attacks. Ready and willing. On this guy. I know what you're thinking, and yeah, it does look like I'm, I'm rushing this, doesn't it? But you really don't have all that much time. Um, okay. I'll give it my all. I'm bringing out Balthus's attacks because now, as I mentioned before, is not the time to be holding back with any of this. It won't. Now is the time to just keep hitting this boss with everything you've got. Stay focused. Constance will have to take one for the team. Because now is my second chance. I will prevail. And my only chance. Oh my gosh, I used the wrong weapon. Whatever. Carefully. This is more sacrificial than I would have preferred, but I'm really out of options at this point.
throwing everything I have at this boss. Because it's going to take... Actually, I'm going to reverse that just to use some eviscerate to see if it will make a difference. Nope. I should have just stuck to using these, which is what I will do. Sure. Yuri will most, most probably die. Oh, he landed a lucky crit. Which means I can Stay thematically focused. finish this with the Sword of the Creator and the Rupture Heaven. <sighs> what a battle. That is the end of a beast in the cathedral. The trickiest part about this battle is making sure that you are able to use your gambits effectively not only to break the yellow shield squares of that umbral beast, but also still be in a condition to unload all of your best attacks on that umbral beast because, as you saw, it can be difficult. I had to. Sa I did manage to find a way to not sacrifice any characters in one of my playthroughs of this game, but I'm just showing you how you beat this boss. Anyway, that is the end of the Cindered Shadows side story walkthroughs. I really hope that you enjoyed watching these walkthroughs, and I hope I was able to help you in some way, shape, or form. That is it from me, at least in regards to the side story videos. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. There will be more videos like this in the future. Until then, I hope to see you in a future video.